Hello, I'm David Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Police canceled an Amber Alert after an 18-month-old girl was found safe. Southfield police say she was at the center of a custody dispute. It involves shots being fired, although it's unknown at this point who pulled the trigger. No one was hurt, but we found an SUV with a bullet hole in it. The father, who allegedly took the child, agreed to meet police at a park. He was taken into custody. Detroit police released new video on the search for a drive-by killer. They say the dark-colored Impala drove by a gas station on 8 Mile last month when someone sprayed another car with bullets. We're told three men were in the targeted vehicle. One was hit and died at the hospital. A man is in custody after a standoff at a strip mall in Sterling Heights. He surrendered at the scene near Metro Parkway in Van Dyke. It all started when he seemed suspicious to employees at a store yesterday morning. He holed up inside for about four hours after they called police. We're told he appeared to be having a mental breakdown of sorts and would be taken for evaluation. The Ford Bronco is back in a big way. The automaker unveiled three new models sporting the legendary nameplate Monday night. The larger two and four door models arrive next spring. The smaller Bronco Sport hits the road at the end of the year. You can reserve one of the new breeds for a hundred bucks at Ford.com. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. For the rest of this evening into the overnight, skies are going to stay clear, winds will be calm, low humidity, temps in the 60s in Detroit, outside the city you could fall into the 50s.